YouTube, what is up? It is your boy Duke, back here from SportsGamers.com. And in today's video, I want to break down the top three most important tips you need to build a dominant offense in Madden 24. So if Madden 24 about to drop, I've started to drop some videos to help prepare you guys to dominate as soon as you get your hands on the game. Yesterday, we posted a defensive video. Today, we're going to post an offensive video. And we're going to continue to post a few more videos leading up to the game's official release as far as things that will help you be very good at the game from day one. So if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you like, comment on the video, also subscribe if you're new. Let's get straight into it now. So I've been playing Madden at a very high level since 2004. And every year I've played the game, I've been one of the best offensive players in the game. And frankly, every year I've been able to develop the best offense day one before anyone else. Every year, the best players in the world, they buy my ebooks and they use my schemes because I have the ability to figure out what the best offense is going to be in the game before anyone else. Last year, for example, I was running tight offset TE with the same setups, the same schemes. All year long, since day one, dropped my ebook day one before anybody else. I knew that that was going to be the best offense of the game. And I've done that same thing, you know, 10, 20 times since I've been playing Madden. So these tips I'm about to show you in this video are what I personally use to be able to build dominant offenses. And I want to help you guys be able to do the same thing. So getting right to it. Tip number one, and we're going to do three. Tip number one out of three tips that we're going to show is going to be you need to find unique routes. What do I mean by unique routes? Unique routes are routes that you're not going to see in, you know, commonly throughout the, the game. Like they're routes that aren't found in many playbooks, not found in many formations. And you want to build your offense around unique routes that are dominant. And so the, the why off Trips Pats is an example of a formation that has a lot of unique routes. And what are some examples of unique routes? Different types of corners and posts, I would say, are unique. And, you know, there's some posts like in the tight offset TE this year, you had, you know, the Saints in post, right? Broke out, broke back in, very good post. Then you had deep corners, you had short corners. Posts and corners that break at different angles than the standard ones are normally very effective. The deep ones and the quick one. So like here, you can see this formation right here, the trips at wife, trips off pad. It has an example with a play of a quick post to the left receiver. Scat has a quick corner to the slot receiver. Curl flats has a quick post to the slot. Uh, tight and whip. You know, you also have a unique, excuse me, unique whip routes and two unique posts. So really another thing is think about it. When you get the game, you're not going to have a lot of ability players. So if you can find formations that actually have a lot of corners and posts, by default, built into the place, that's really good as well. So once you see the formations that have the unique routes, you want to go into practice mode and build a scheme around these unique routes, and you're going to be on your way to a dominant offense. So like again, here, scat. You guys can see here, this is a very simple play. You have just a quick corner route to the slot, and then you can build a nice flood around it with a flat out streak. And you know, any team can do that because you don't need abilities. Now the thing that's nice about this quick corner route is because it breaks so fast it's going to get underneath all these you know zones if someone's trying to zone drop you you know it's going to still get open it also because it breaks quickly those types of corner routes tend to be man to man better than you know a lot of the standard runs you get it's really nice same thing with these posts these posts are also extremely unique routes because again you can build a scheme around them and these routes will not only beat man but also beat zone too so like here, if we're man-to-man, -man, you know, we have two quick breaking posts on this play. Chances are at least one, if not both, is going to get wide open. So when you have a formation that has unique routes, you're setting yourself up for success. Tip number two. Make sure you're using an offense that gives you the ability to not only block, but also beat the blitz with good quick cutting routes. A lot of people get so focused on blocking a blitz, they don't know how to actually beat it in the passing game with actual routes. Also, you can beat a blitz through the run game, but that's something for a later video. You not only need to just be able to block it to give yourself more time, but you need to beat it with unique route combos. There's always going to be a day one blitz, whether it's Dollar or the 3-3 Cub. We can show you some examples here. You need to know how to block it, and you've got to be an offense that gives you the ability to do so. Again, this gun off trips uh, Pat's formation is a pretty solid example of a formation that gives you the ability to do just that. So 
pretty common day one blitz on Madden the past few years has been the 3-3 Cub Mike Blitz Zero. A lot of people run it. Just to let you know, this video is sponsored by Thrive Fantasy. I've recently partnered with them. They are the best daily fantasy site on the market. If you like to play daily fantasy games, use coupon code DUKE. You will get a 100% deposit match up to $250. It's the best offer in the year. Click the link in the comments. I also put it in the description and play some daily fantasy. Now, all that said, you need to use specific types of formations to beat the blitz. When we talk about blocking the blitz, it is most effective to use formations where the tight end and the running back are lined up on different sides of the formation. So this is a great example of that because you have the tight end lined up on the right, the running back lined up on the left. What this allows for is better protection schemes. Uh, if they're sending really heavy blitz at you, you can block the blitz using max protect to block the tight end and the running back. This is why a lot of players over the years have used bunch formations because most of the time bunch formations allow you to do this. So if they got a heavy blitz, you can max protect, extra block on the right, extra block on the left. Um, past that, sometimes it's most effective to just simply block the tight end and send the running back out on a route. These uh, blitzes, a lot of blitzes, honestly, over the years, if you block the tight end and send the running back out, it does a really good job picking it up. A lot of people don't know that. But I'll, also, you obviously can, if they're bringing pressure from you, maybe from the running back side, just block the running back, send the tight end out. So this gives you the most options in the protection game. Now, again, this might blitz zero defense, very, very, very popular. It actually gets stonewalled the majority of the time when you simply block the tight end, as you guys can see here actually does a really good job of picking it up we can easily make our read do you want to become a better madden player and win more games if so check out my premium madden strategy website sportsgamers.com i have built sportsgamers.com to provide you with the best madden tips best madden ebooks and schemes all from the pros at the lowest price possible i have helped thousands upon thousands of madden players improve their games and i can help you as well our VIP Madden membership is our best offer yet. This membership will include all of our Madden ebooks all year long and hundreds of weekly Madden Vault tip updates to keep you ahead of the game. Click the link in the description and use coupon code DUKE for 10% off your order. This is an example of a blitz where blocking the tight end is more beneficial. If you block the running back, the protection is not as consistent. So having the tight end and the running back on opposite sides of the formation is actually super crucial in being able to block the blitz but you not only need to be able to block it you need to be able to beat it so sometimes it's best to simply not even try to block the blitz and just use a very very quick route combo to get somebody open quickly so one of the things i really like to do especially against these man-to-man -man blitzes is actually send the running back out on a route so for instance here if i'm using the play tight in whip I might want to put the running back on a wheel and do a motion slant to the slot receiver. I could definitely go ahead and also use a streak route over the top just to give myself a deep threat. But by doing this, I'm forcing them to guard the running back and I have a quick read, two quick reads over the middle and then a tight end on a quick whip. This is really effective because a lot of times against man-to-man -man defenses, people will not use the running back or not even guard the running back because they think you'll block him. And this just makes them have to guard everybody, which makes their coverage a lot less likely to be effective. Now, you need to have the running back in like a quick route over the middle on really honestly going opposite ways. So what I could do if I needed to is honestly I could just do, a, do a, uh, a motion slant. So something like this, motion slant, bam. And you guys can see here, you know, that's making them have to guard the short middle and the running back. And then also that tight end whip was breaking really, really fast to the outside. Again, I didn't even try to block the blitz. But I had enough quick reads that all these guys, you guys can see here, the tight end, the slant, the post are wide open. Now, if they would have taken the guy off the running back to try to use this over the middle, the running back would have been open. Now, sometimes it's best to have the running back and the receiver you have on a slant on the same side of the field. So I might want to create this by motion the slot receiver over on a slant. So he's on the same side of the screen as the running back. What this does is it just creates different assignments that they have to, you know, kind of switch mid-play. And you oftentimes will give players just wide open like this because of the change of assignments if they're not prepared for the motion, right? So now, like, again, imagine they have to use the running back. Now they have a choice. Do we go guard the running back or do we sit over the middle to guard the slant? This is a six-man blitz, so they were coming up the A-gap. But I just still had, I had quick reads here. I had, you know, the, the slant. I had the post. You guys can see here the post is open. And I had the tight end whip. 
And again, all these guys are open because of the running back not allowing them to have an extra defender in coverage on this play. You know, if they take the running back away, we have those quick reads. If they don't, we can hit the running back fast. Now, tip number three, the final tip of this video, is you need to have the end-all, be-all money play. What do I mean by that? You need a play that is so dominant, you know that no matter what, you can go to it and probably pick up, you know, 10-plus yards against any coverage. Some examples of a play like that will be like gun bunch verticals. Um, last year, it could be the, uh, the tight offset uh, with the corner outs. You just need some sort of play that you know is your money play. And honestly, one of my favorites in the game year after year is verticals. This, or this play, I should say, you literally don't need to do anything. You can just come to the line, snap it, and you have all sorts of reads all over the field. This play is super hard to stop. It's a money play. It's going to beat every coverage, and you know that when you go to it, you can expect to pick up a good tennis yards plus, right? So that's something you're always going to want in your scheme. Right there, you guys can see I had the quick pass wheel, um, you know, the tight end, the running back. All these different players are consistent reads uh, against any coverage. If they're man-to-man -man blitzing you, you probably want to look to either the wheel route quick in the flat, which I threw the last time, uh, the running back out of the backfield, maybe the crosser post. But the wheel route is super consistent for, you know, easy plays against the blitz. Now, if they're going to sit back in coverage on you, again, you can quick snap them and just attack very, very, very easily between the crosser, the wheel, uh, and the seam running back, right? So like right here, I see that the seam is vacated, hit that tight end in that spot. So whether it's man, zone, you know you have reads. Whether it's cover two, cover three, cover four, even match, again, you know you have reads. Now, the other thing you really want to do with a play like this is ideally it is going to be a quick hike play. What do I mean by that? You want to play that at max you make one or two adjustments to. Maybe you make one hot route. Maybe you uh, motion one guy like a step or two. But you want to make it so that the defense doesn't have time to set up a bunch of adjustments. You can quick hike them and you have a money play. With these three principles, you're going to be dominant on offense in Madden 24. I promise you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Until next time, it's your boy Duke and I'm out of here.